It's hey. Lauren from the Mini Royal Lauren Morning Show. I am backstage at Kissmas 2017, and I'm so excited Kiss because Kissmas. I am with the act that sent everybody in Charlotte into a frenzy, the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Hey yeah. guys, yeah. Merry yeah. Kissmas. Hey Kissmas. <laughs> What's up, Charlotte? Are you what guys up? excited to be here? We are very. Excited oh yeah. To be back in Charlotte. Okay, so not your first time here. Nope. Nope. Uh, what's your Just second time? Second time. second time. Did you guys get to do anything uh, while you were here before? Well, like, do you have a favorite part of Charlotte? So Brian has, <laughs> no. Brian has specific no. memories of Charlotte. Uh, was, wasn't the first time we played here right when you came out of open heart surgery? Yes. Yes. That was his first time back. Actually, that was, let's see, May, June. It was, yeah, it was eight weeks after my heart surgery oh my in 1998. Let's see, May 8th was my surgery, so it was June, July, I think it was like the first week of July, and um, yeah, we had like paramedics in the backstage. Oh my just gosh. Like, uh, just, uh, just in case. Okay. Just in he case. killed it, he had a great show, and I remember Thanks, being Ken. backstage, uh, <laughs> we got Hornets jerseys. Yeah, yeah. Charlotte uh, Hornets. So yeah, it was, a, it was yeah. good memories. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, I know you guys are working on some new music, too, and the first of the year, will we hear anything, or are we going to have to wait a little bit longer uh, to hear new music? We might have to wait a little bit We're longer. We're to have some you know, ready to release we'll to radio <laughs> in March. Okay. Yeah. But we are definitely in the studio currently working, and... Uh, definitely gone back in the kitchen to do some cooking and see what comes out you know trying to experiment working with some new writers with some new producers and you know we're just kind of feeling things out but definitely things are starting to come to a head and uh yeah we are super super stoked for a brand new album ten, and a brand new tour ten songs in maybe 10 songs uh, in. Yeah, yeah roughly 10, Say 10 yeah. or 12 probably. we won't get to hear anything tonight though will we no maybe. no new material Sorry. tonight Sorry. Oldie, old hits. I had to ask. You missed 100% of the shots you don't take, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, so with the new album, when you, how hands-on are you guys working on the new album? Like, do, do you uh, discuss it amongst you, or does somebody come to you with the song, and you're like, hey, we really like the sound of that. Let's do that. It happens in many different ways. Uh, someone well, could submit yeah. a song to us. Yeah. Uh, one of us could... Uh, write another song uh, write a song with someone else we could all get together and write um, it happens all kinds of different ways with every album it's always been kind of a, a mishmash of, of everything sometimes we co-write sometimes a writer just give us a song or we have an sometimes idea. a label sometimes we'll, we'll have an idea something. for a producer or something like that you yeah. know like uh, uh, one of the people that stands out is uh, Steve Aoki yep. we just uh, hung out yeah. with him recently and Love uh, Steve Aoki. It, so he, he was one of the people Tim, Tim, Timbaland, Timbaland was another one as well. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Yeah. So just like lately, it's been really cool because we've had like friends and fans uh, that grew up with us that are now really great young up and coming producers reach out to us and say they want to work with us. So yeah. it's it's been great. Awesome. Now speaking of growing up, you guys literally grew up together. Um, is when you were on the road uh, first time around, as opposed to now, was there a joker? Was there someone who was really messy? And is that the same person now? Well, pretty, pretty, much, pretty much held pretty on to those. Same person now. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Well, right here. Same. Same one. Wear them proudly. I think each of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just years. like if I went around. Okay. Who? What are you on the road? What would you describe yourself as? <laughs> Can you say it? Uh, the clown. Of the clown. course. Yeah. The clown. What is that now? Like uh, who you are now? I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm bits of a, I'm like tears of a clown. <laughs> kind of. Now. <laughs> and messiest? Who's the messiest? That's that's me. Oh, and you own and, right up to that. AJ. I love it. AJ's pretty I've messy too. Better. <laughs> No, but yeah, back in the day, you, you would walk into my like room and it was like a cyclone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like it was a prankster. Exploded in everywhere. Not still a prankster. There's no more no, pranksters anymore because you know that comes back to bite you in the ass later on. That's the problem. Yes. So you guys have your residency in Vegas right now. When I mean Vegas, it's the city that never sleeps. Mm -hmm. So when you guys get done with a show at night, is it hard to wind down? Like, do you guys go yeah. to the casino afterwards, or do you go right back to your room and you're like what totally you worn out? It varies. You know, some nights we have after parties, and you know it's it's a personal choice from whoever wants has the extra energy and wants to let off a little steam. Yeah, we'll do those uh, as well. Some of the guys are actually living out there. Three of the guys have places out there. Uh, Kevin and I are staying in the hotels okay. out there, and um, so it varies depending upon if we have guests in town or if we're just by ourselves. You know, we're oh he has a lot of guests in town always. Though. I have guests. I don't yeah. sleep much in Vegas, <laughs> but uh, I catch up when I'm back home. The party. 
party boy. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, it's like the Wednesday night shows after that show. We all kind of just go and, and go back to the hotel or to yeah. our homes and, and go to sleep. But on Friday and Saturday night, we have group after parties. And that's when we normally have our friends and family come out and join us if they want to hang out afterwards. So, yeah. Nice. Champagne? Champagne in the jacuzzi with my wife. Oh, I love it. Now, I'm a big wow. fan of the champagne myself. I'm okay, like, champagne so in the jacuzzi. What? Now, we, 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 we dug something up for you guys. Now, do you guys remember the Burger yes. King figurines? So, so check this out. So this yes. was actually... Um, Everyone take your figurines. We did a comic. Sorry. We did a... <laughs> we did a... a, a we did a one-off comic with uh, Stan Lee, the guy uh -huh. that created um, Spider-Man, obviously. And... Um, and so him Just and like I actually wrote the comic together, and it was we were doing a campaign for Burger King, I think it was. Yep. Yeah, these came from Burger and, King. And so yep. they wanted to package it to where these were going to be put in their their children's meals or whatever. Yep. So this is what you got out of the Burger King meal. This was a I was a, comic. I was a samurai. <laughs> Um, no, you, you guys, I, obviously. That was my. I was a sharpshooter. I could shoot a, a flea off a dog from like 10 miles. Which is not physically possible, but yes. And did you guys. Kevin had super strength. He was very strong. I love it. Now, you said you helped uh, do the comic. Did all of you have a hand in it? Like, did you get to pick what you were going to be wearing or like what you were going to look like? No. Beef I mean, up my muscles a little. Nick, like, you know. Nick basically collaborated with Stan Lee on this and we yeah. let him, because this was his passion. Nick is yeah. a great illustrator. Uh -huh. He's always loved comics. Mm -hmm. And he put this together with Stan Lee. Obviously, when it came to like what we were wearing and stuff, we we gave a little bit of input yeah. on yeah. that. Like and Brian wanted to basketball. throw a flaming basketball. Yeah. He showed us. Right. He wanted flaming basketballs. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I wanted to be able to see into flaming the future. balls. Yeah. Awesome. There you go, so. And guys, just before we let you go, uh, it, of course it is Christmas. So how are you guys spending the holidays? Uh, well, we're all husbands and fathers now, so we got our own little family Christmases we have. Uh, you be in Vegas. Uh, no, no, we're going to be oh. home with, with our families. Nice. Uh, and then right after that, we go to Cancun, Mexico. We're doing two shows there. And then like it's uh, the 29th and 30th. And then we're going to spend New Year's in, in Cancun together with our families. So this much my, fun. This will be yeah. my, my youngest daughter's first Christmas. So this will be, uh, this will be interesting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Right. My, yeah, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, but I'll be home with my family and my uh, kids. So, okay. yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. We're so excited to see you on stage. Welcome to Kissmas 2017, and welcome back to Charlotte. I'm sure you will get thank a you. huge, Thank huge, you, guys. Everyone's going to be so excited. Thank you, guys. Uh.